Hello, BookTube, and welcome back to People April, an event that dare not speak its name, People, <laughs> who's created by Roz at Scally Dandling about the books, and Elizabeth at Book Hunts and Books, and it's designed to celebrate biographies, life writing of all kinds, autobiographies, memoirs, letter collections, and full-dress biographies, which are the kind of thing I love most to read, which is the good news for uh, People April. And there's a little bit of bad news hovering around the periphery of this event. The question that's, that's going the rounds on 4chan and 8chan is whether or not People April is a cursed booktube event. There aren't many cursed booktube events. But every time People April rolls around, uh, Roz breaks a bone. <laughs> well, every time People April rolls around, Elizabeth seems to have problems with contractors and whatnot. Uh, and I scoffed at such things, tra -la, la because I don't believe in cursed events. Anybody can be have a, a, a bad a bad luck incident happen to them. But my last few picks for People April have not been all that good, reading experience-wise. I'm adding a biography of some kind or other, some kind of life writing, uh, to my night's reading every night for April, as opposed to I do a lot of this kind of reading anyway, because a lot of it is new releases, and I love the reading anyway. But I've been increasing it for People April. And I've been picking randomly. I haven't been going back to old favorites. I also haven't been going back to figures that I necessarily know a lot about or love already. I've been letting random chance do that. Uh, and I wasn't realizing it, but it makes sense that if an event is cursed, then random chance will show that curse more likely than you putting your finger on the scale. Uh, I'm still not drawing any conclusions, but by Wednesday of this week, if this pattern holds, I think it will be safe to officially declare People April a cursed booktube event, which I think you would all agree makes it the coolest booktube event of them all. <laughs> because last night's reading was also a failure. I recently read a big illustrated hardcover that we got, we saw it on Amina Hall on this channel, uh, Audubon as Artist, where uh, a former curator of artwork for the New York Historical Society wrote a big, wonderful, basically a monograph about the artistic art influences that other art has had on the great American naturalist and nature painter, John James Audubon. Uh, and it, uh, the book was fantastic. Just, just absolutely fantastic. Uh, full of visual comparisons, but also the the text was just amazingly provocative, amazingly thought provoking. I loved it, just loved it. I would have preferred a, a big ebook of it, especially now that I have an enormous iPad that would really have done honor to the illustrations. But I got the publisher was nice enough to send me the hardcover, so I went. I read with that, and as uncomfortable as hardcover books are to read, and they are just inherently uncomfortable to read. I still was enraptured by it. So I thought, okay, well, this isn't quite you putting your thumb on the scale, but this is fate telling you that maybe you want to read a full-dress biography of John James Audubon. I've read a few of them. Uh, he, his life is fascinating. Of course, the raw material of his life I already know has led to problems. It's led to problems in our current age, in our current historical moments. Uh, because Audubon was not a nice guy, uh, Generally speaking, he was a slave owner and in favor of slave owning. It wasn't just raw societal momentum on his part. The limited amount of thinking that he did about anything that wasn't a bird uh, approved of slavery. So he's cancelable, is what I'm trying to say. And efforts are concerted efforts in, in certain niche quarters that even know that he exists have been trying for years to just cancel him completely. Of course, the ultimate gesture of that would be to rename the Audubon Society is named after him to rename the Audubon nature guides and all that sort of thing. just get rid of all of that uh, and I was pleased that there was none of that almost none of that in Audubon as artists so I thought well if you like reading a biography and you've read some of the more recent ones what if you go back a little ways find a, a Audubon biography that you haven't read that still happened before this particular social justice warrior movement so that, that there'll be a sober discussion of of Audubon's shortcomings as a human being rather than torches and pitforks just wanting to destroy him and also destroy you if you even say his name out loud 
so I went back 35 years to Alice Ford's biography of John James Audubon. There's the, the, famous, the famous portrait of him on the cover there that uh, gussies up reality quite a bit. And uh, this was extremely dutiful. It was extremely complete and thorough, but it had no narrative energy whatsoever. It was boring. A life like Audubon's, which you would think, I would think, could not be made boring. And it was boring. Uh, I made my way through it, but the whole time that I was making my way through it, all the following Audubon's travels, and of course the great labor of his life was the creation and the printing and the marketing and the selling of Birds of America, his masterpiece, which in its elephant folio, you really have to see it to believe it. Google it. Google what, the, what Birds of America actually looks like. When you say, when I say that it's a big book, you're thinking, oh, so it's, it's a doorstop. No, <laughs> no. I, what I mean is it's a physically big book. It's utterly gigantic. Uh, and it, it was a major undertaking, and Audubon knew that. He knew what he was creating. And it almost killed him to do. He had other projects, side projects. Omnivorous visual learner, that came through in Audubon as artist like crazy. What a visual learner he was and how many visual things he does in what appear to be straightforward paintings. There were all sorts of details in Audubon as artist that I had, the author had to point them out to me. I'd never seen them. I've been looking at this guy's artwork forever. Uh, I kept, I knew that as I was reading this book and I kept waiting for the author goes, Alice Ford goes over all of that. You don't, this is an extremely thorough biography, but I kept waiting for her to tease out or even seem to be aware of the dramatic potential and I she almost never does it almost never happens in the course of this book I kept I kept pining for the two later Audubon biographies that are far more dramatic reading uh, this was conscientious and extremely scholarly thorough uh, but it, it it wasn't I wasn't past the halfway point before it felt like a chore to go on. Of course, I knew that I was going to finish it, but it, it still, it felt like a bit of a chore. Uh, and that was my biography for last night's People April. And uh, I think you can see the problem, <laughs> right? <laughs> this, this is starting to build the momentum. I could mitigate against the momentum if I put my thumb on the scales, but I'm kind of curious to see now what will happen if I don't. If tonight's biographical reading of one kind or another, I'll go at it randomly. I got a couple of biographies in the mail today, but I'm, I'm going to ignore them. I'm going to pick something at random that I haven't read. And if it's lackluster, well, like I'm going to wait until Wednesday. If, if Wednesday is still a dud, then this is an officially cursed event. <laughs> I'm still going to go through with it. I'm still going to, I'm still going to enjoy it. Uh, but at least then we'll know that it's the coolest event on book two. <laughs> so that's your uh, your people able video for today. It's it's Alice Ford's John James Audubon, which I can't particularly recommend. Uh, but it's also Audubon as artist, which is amazing, just amazingly good. So uh, it's a little bit pricey and probably not readily available at most bookstores. So I still do recommend it though. So I'm I'm that's. A little bit of positive to go with the negative. So I'll wrap this up for now, uh, and I'll be back. Thank you, BookTube.